Hello and welcome back to Life in the Universe. Today we're talking about a recent study published in the journal Nature that could help us defend our planet from asteroids hurtling towards Earth. Our solar system is full of debris from the early days of planet formation. Today there are over 31,000 asteroids around Earth's neighbourhood. While we can track the bigger asteroids that pose a threat to humanity, smaller ones can still cause destruction. A few years ago, an 18-metre asteroid exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, smashing thousands of windows and injuring over 1,500 people. That's where the DART mission comes in. DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and it's a mission that aims to test whether we can nudge an asteroid off course to avoid the collision. The target for this mission is the asteroid Dimorphos, which is orbiting around Didymos. The DART spacecraft aims to demonstrate the kinetic impact of technique which involves hitting the asteroid with a fast-moving object to change its orbit. For this mission, the DART spacecraft is the fast-moving object and it's travelling at a speed of 6 km per second. The impact from the spacecraft is designed to slightly change the orbit of the Morphos, slowing it down and altering its path. To show that the kinetic impact of technique is a viable tool for planetary defence, the DART spacecraft needs to demonstrate two things, that it can navigate and target the asteroid autonomously, and that it can hit it with enough force to change its orbit. To achieve this, the DART spacecraft is equipped with a new system called SmaltNav, which uses the onboard camera to steer the spacecraft into the path of Dimorphos for maximum impact. The impact from the DART spacecraft will knock debris off the surface of Dimorphos, which will be analysed in detail by scientists in the Nature Study. The study also investigates how the impact changes the asteroid's momentum and orbit. The conclusion. The kinetic impact of technology is a viable technique to defend Earth from potentially hazardous asteroids. That's all for today's episode of Life and the Universe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more news and updates on science and space.